Hi, and welcome back to Hope Dealing. I want to invite you to the book of Proverbs. I want to talk about communication, literally a talk on talking. Uh, and there's uh, so much that the book of Proverbs offers, but it's interesting that there's so much said about how we talk to one another. And I think that that's very important for all of us that will live godly lives. But I'm here in Proverbs 15, verse 1, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. Now, uh, I'm using this as an introduction to the whole chapter. Uh, because song, uh, Proverbs 15 is just filled with line after line about how we talk to one another. And that's really the thought today. As we're calling this lesson, The Words of the Wise. And the thought today is that if Proverbs is the book of wisdom, meaning that God's word has a book within it that's dedicated to wisdom and that God's word, the inerrant word, the uh, sufficient word, the inspired word of God. If God has something to say about how we talk to one another and if he says it over and over and over again, then I think, I think we need to really be considerate about how we use words and the things that we're saying with those words. So real real briefly, I just want to skim through just this one chapter in the book of wisdom and see how many Proverbs are about talking. Verse 4, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Verse 7, the lips of the wise disperse knowledge but the heart of the fool does not do so. Look at verse 14. The heart of him who has understanding seeks knowledge, but the mouth of fools feeds on foolishness. Look at verse 23. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth and a word spoken in due season, how good it is. 26. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant. 28. The heart of the righteous studies how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours forth evil. Now that's just one chapter. Proverbs 15. You go to Proverbs 10 as well as Proverbs 25. You'll have the same thing again, that these words of wisdom are brought up redundantly. And when God repeats himself, it's not because he doesn't have something else to say. It's that he wants us to learn a lesson. So uh, we'll spend some time here in Proverbs 15 and talk about uh, the words of the wise and how we speak to one another. See you next time on Hope Dealing.